everyone welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this 0 to 3 months firefighter helmet or firefighter hat and for the yarn I'll be using studio classic by Nicole this yarn can I got this from AC Moore and for the gray part with her super saver the recommended um, crochet hook for this is 5.5 millimeter, but I'll be using 4.25 because I want to have a tighter stitch for the hat. Okay, so let's start. Okay, now let's make a slip knot. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now I'll make 12 double crochet into the first chain. Okay, so one. Okay, now I have 12 double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Okay, next for round two, after chain three, make two double crochet into the stitch next to chain three. One, two, and two double crochet into the next stitch. One, Two. Now I'll make one front post double crochet. So go around the stitch here. And make two double crochet next to the front post double crochet stitch. So two double crochet. And two double crochet next to it and now I'll make another one double one front post double crochet so go around and there you go so I'll repeat the same Two double crochet and the last front post double crochet. Okay, now I'm going to slip stitch. So now we're done with round two. So as you can see, you have six front posts six front post double crochet one two three four five six okay for round three okay now chain three one two three and then i'll make two double crochet into the next three stitch one two and three i'm not going to start with the stitch next to chain three so i'll skip that stitch and i'll start from here okay so two double crochet two double crochet and two double crochet so there's six double crochet in between these two front post double crochet and now I'm going to make one front post double crochet I'm going to repeat the same make two double crochet into the next three stitch one two three and skip the stitch next to the front post double crochet one two and three 
so there's six double crochet in between um, these two front post double crochet okay after you get all six double crochet make one front post double crochet I'm going to repeat this and I'll see you once I'm done okay um, for round three I'm done with um, six double crochet so I'm going to make one the last front post double crochet for round three and then slip stitch okay let's start with round four as usual chain three one two three and i'm going to make one double crochet into this stitch i'm not going to um, make the double crochet into the stitch here instead i'll make it right here so skip the stitch in every row so one double crochet and make two double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet and two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet so for round two the pattern is going to be one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet and one double crochet in between every front post double crochet so now i'm going to make the front post double crochet and now for the next step we're going to repeat i'm going to repeat the same here so skip this stitch and start with the stitch right here one double crochet two double crochet Okay, skip the stitch next to front post double crochet. Okay, skip that stitch and skip that stitch. Okay, the reason for me to skipping the stitch is so that I have a straight line for the front post double crochet. Okay, for round five, start with chain three, one, two, three, and I will make one double crochet into this stitch so as you will skip the stitch next to chain three in every round so one double crochet one double crochet and i'll make two double crochet into the next stitch okay. and for the rest three stitch just one double crochet in every stitch so one two and three now make one front post double crochet so i'm going to repeat the same what i did here i'm going to finish up for round five and i'll see you once i'm done okay now i'm done with round five slip stitch and I'm going to continue making round six for round six until round nine. It's going to be the same pattern as round five. So let me repeat again. How's the pattern? So chain three, skip the stitch next to chain three, or restart the stitch next to it. Okay, so one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet and three double crochet now make one front post double crochet so in between two stitch you should have one two three four five six seven seven stitches in between front post double crochet okay i'm going to repeat the same pattern until i reach round nine and i'll see you once i'm done hi i'm back i'm finishing up round number nine right now okay and i'm going to slip stitch and for round 10 it's going to be the same but 
um, instead of chain three, chain two, and you make half double crochet instead of double crochet. It's going to be the same process. Make sure there's um, seven half double crochet in between the two front posts that double. So I'm going to make one, two, two half double crochet and two half double crochet into here. One and two and three. So I'm going to make half the front post half double crochet. There you go. I'm going to continue until I reach the last stitch and I'll see you once I'm done. So I'm going to make my last front post half double crochet, slip stitch. Okay, now we're going, I'm going to show you how to make the brim part. Okay, first chain three, one, two, three. And I'll make one double crochet into the next two stitch. So instead of going under this 2V, I'm going to pick up from this loop here. Okay. So one and two, and I'll make two double crochet into the next stitch. So I repeat the same, one double crochet, one double crochet, and two double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, I'll repeat doing the same pattern until the last stitch and I'll see you once I'm done. Okay, I'm slip stitch here and now chain three one two three round 12 is the last round for this hat okay so make one double crochet into the first three stitch so one two three and make two double crochet into the next stitch so one two three and two double crochet into the next stitch okay so I'll repeat the same pattern three double crochet one two three and two double crochet into the next stitch so I'll Repeat the same pattern and I'll see you once I'm done with round 12. I am back and I'm done with round 12. Okay, so I'm going to slip stitch here. Chain 1 to secure. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm going to weave in this later. So now I'm going to show you how to make the badge. So, so make a slip knot and chain 13. One, two. Okay, and then I'm going to make half double crochet into the third chain from the hook so one two three so one two three ten Eleven. So I have eleven half double crochet, chain one, can I work around. So now I'll make another eleven half double crochet. And 
and now for row three chain one and now I'll make two half double crochet into the stitch here so one two and I'll make one half double crochet into the next eight stitch Okay, I'll make two half double crochet into the next stitch one two and one half double crochet into the last stitch now chain one turn the work around and now I'm going to make one half double crochet into every stitch all the way to the end now I'm done so chain one then work around make one half double crochet into this stitch here and now I'll make four half double crochet into the next stitch so one two three and four now I'll make four single crochet into the next four stitch one two three four and now I'll make two double crochet so one double crochet two double crochet now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch right here. Okay, and slip stitch. Now I'll make two double crochet. One, and two now make one double crochet into the next four stitch one two three four okay now four half double crochet into the next stitch one two three four okay now we're done with the top part now i'm just going to make one single crochet across here here and all the way back to here so I'll just make one single crochet into every hole available Okay, so at the corner, we make three single crochet. One, two, three, and just go ahead and single crochet into every stitch. Single crochet, slip stitch into the chain one here slip stitch so this is how the badge looks like so I just go ahead and weave in the ends for the here here and also in here
I'll just use the glue to glue it onto the hat. You can go ahead and sew it with the crayon, but I find it is easier to glue on as because this hat only probably will be used once or twice for photography. And there you have it guys, this is the finished hat for a firefighter girl or a firefighter boy, depending on the color that you use. So do click on the like button if you like my video, if you find the video is easy for you to follow, do subscribe for more video in the future. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day everyone, bye!